Thank you, everybody that is joining this call today. I'm Peter Olao de Kolawale, a digital marketing expert, just trying to do my thing online. It's been, it's been awesome. So I'll, I'll share a bit of my story with you, and I hope it, it gets your attention, and I hope it, it helps you in your journey. So I'll be sharing my screen now to, to just share my story. Assessing online, uh, well-paying jobs online, presented by TOK. Okay, good morning, everybody. I hope you are having an awesome day. I started digital marketing because of one reason. I want to I want to get my life together. I want to get better as a thing. It actually didn't start because of the money. Uh, one of the mistakes that many people make is the fact that they pick a because they add that is the most paying career. No, wrong, wrong idea. Do not pick a career online because you add that is the most paying career or you get paid. In fact, if it's about money, right, you can make money any which way in the world. The world is very, uh, it's a global village right now. And you can make money any way. Like there are numerous ways to make money. You can be packing sand and be making money. It just depends on how you sell it to the world. It just depends on how you present the idea to the world. We have many people making money as a skit maker today. And 10 years ago, like 20 years ago, you can't make money as a skit maker, right? So we see many people creating career out of TikTok. We see many people, you can be throwing your viral up and then people will just like it. And then your YouTube uh, channel will grow and then you are making money. So money is, should not be the criteria for you to decide on whichever career you want to go into. So how did I decide on uh, picking digital marketing as my career? It's because it, it aligns with my purpose. It's aligned with, the, with my purpose of being an, a successful uh, entrepreneur in the future. So if you want to become a successful entrepreneur in the future, what, we, what are the skills that that person should possess? That was the question I asked myself about four years ago. What are the skills that a successful entrepreneur should possess? Then I got to find out the, the person should be able to sell the person should be able to market, the person should be able to manage people, the person should be able to lead. Then I, I, I said, okay, which of these careers online, which of these digital skills align with this thing? That's how I found myself in digital marketing and advertising. Because when you're advertising, it's very for e-commerce as uh it's very for e-commerce, which is my niche. You have to be able to sell, you should you have to be able to market, you have to be able to run uh, advertising. On Facebook, Google, you have to be able to to write. You have to be a very good copywriter. You have to do. Uh, you have to uh, learn a lot of things. But how do you learn these things? It's by learning one by one, right? I started reading books and I started getting my life together. So it didn't just. It's not about oh, I want to go online to make money. It started with the fact that I started asking myself the necessary question: What can I do to better my life? What can I do now that we align with whatever I want to become in the next fifty years? So before. As I will start presenting, ask yourself this question. What do you want to become? In the next 50 years, who do you want to see yourself to become? What is that online skill that aligns with that thing? Think about it and decide to pursue it. Because if you don't do that, you will, you, you will drop whatever you are, you are doing. You will drop it because it's going to get hard. I worked for free for about eight months. Like I was not getting paid working as a social media manager before I got my first online job so if i if i'm there for money trust me eight months is a very long period i will have dropped it so let's get started assessing well paying job online presented by POK. the one thing is to get a skill just like i said ask yourself the necessary question what do you want to become in life who do you see yourself becoming whatever it is look for the the skill that aligns with that just like this money in programming this money in graphic design this money in digital marketing the only criteria for you to make money is for you to be good at what you do. Let me tell you something that kept me going when I, I didn't have a job and I, I've, I've, I've taken a lot of courses and I didn't still have a job. What kept me going is the fact that I told myself that any interview that I take and I didn't get it and the person did not hire me, it means one thing. The only thing it means is not because I did not know somebody. I did, mm, That's not the meaning. The only, the only meaning and the fact is I am not good enough. I am not good enough. No company will see somebody that is of quality and they will not bring you in. Let me tell you for a fact today, every company is hiring. Write it down. 
every company is ironing google facebook uh, ub there's nothing like oh we are filled up we are not ironing they will not they they will hire you once they find quality in you if you are value if you are value again i repeat they will create a space in that company and bring you in so it's more than just being a programmer it's more than just being a graphic designer or digital marketer or uh or, or, or a product manager there's so many skills you can learn right data analytics there are plenty but it's more that it's more than that it's more than being a valuable person and every company is i already remember so get a skill get a skill streamline your purpose and find the skill you want to learn and pursue it forget about the money like i said first one year first two years it might not come it didn't come from me until after eight months yours might be longer yours might be shorter but get a skill What's the next thing? The 10,000 hour rules or 10 years rules. Now, this rule is this. Um, this rule was propagated by Malcolm Gladwell in his book, The Attire. And it's a rule that helped me a lot when I was uh, practicing, uh, trying to get into digital marketing and the on online tech space. The thing is this, if for you to be a master of a particular skill, for you to be a master of a particular niche, the rule is you have to be in that industry for 10 years or you have to have practiced that thing for like 10,000 hours. That is the rule. Cristiano Ronaldo, so many people, so, so many of us will know Cristiano Ronaldo today. Cristiano Ronaldo got his first paying job, like his first uh, professional football car uh, uh, career. He signed his first contract around 2000, uh, 2099. If you calculate the, the, the time between sporting, when he was in sporting Lisbon, and when he won the Ballon d'Or in 2008 in Manchester United, it was 10 years. All of us will know to the emotion. The distance between when he, he, he came into limelight, when he won, and when he broke the record in the Olympics recently, it's about 10 years. We say both. Now look at when he started. Look at when he won his, his uh, first um, stop, his first, uh, when he broke the Olympics record. It was about 10 years. Look at the, look at people. When people uh, tell you when, when they are introducing themselves, they will tell you uh, I have a decade of experience in this. I have ten years experience in this. You cannot do something for ten years and not get very good at it. It's impossible. Except you are you are not doing it. Except that. So what did I tell myself when I, I didn't have a job? I always remind myself I'm just I've only did this for one year. I still have nine more years to go. If I'm good at this thing, somebody will hire me. Always remember. Always tell yourself that. If I am good, somebody will hire me. If somebody don't, did not, I, I have not hired you yet. If you don't have a job yet, it means one thing. The fact is, you are not good yet. Go back to your dream board. Keep learning. Keep taking those top courses. I took twenty-five digital marketing courses online. Twenty-five writing courses, SEO, advertising. I took twenty-five before I got my first job, and first job was fifty thousand naira. But trust me, I am like. <laughs> More than times 10 of that today, times 15, so I am more than it today. So the rule is this 10,000 hours. As you're practicing, the hours is counting. So instead of using 10 years, you can use 10,000 hours. It means that if you put in longer hours in studying, it will shorter the time frame before you can, before you get, uh, it should shorter the time frame. It might not have to be 10 years, but you should shorten the, the time frame. So that is the rule. Put that rule in your mind as you are learning, it will help you in the difficult time, it will be difficult. It will be difficult. It's not a smooth ride. But always remind yourself that you have only put in 1,000 hours, 2,000 hours, one year, two years, and you are good. The masters get rewarded. The masters get rewarded. So that is it. The second, the third one thing is deliver high quality work. Please and please don't say, oh, this person I got me for graphic design. They are paying you just 500 Naira. I'll give them the work of five hundred naira. No, you do not have the luxury to do that in the beginning of your career. Always deliver high quality work because the digital marketing, the digital space relies on one thing. It is not your your CGPA. It is not whatever you have gotten. It is not the only thing they rely on is recommendation. That oh, this person has done this somewhere. All of my jobs came through recommendation. All of it. All. I work for a brand in Texas, United States. I was recommended. I work for another brand in, in Canada. I was recommended. I work for another brand in London. I was recommended. I work for another brand in 
Dubai. I was recommended. All, all of my job came through recommendation. And it's not always people. It's, they are, these are not people I know right? before I came into an online space, right? I worked with somebody in a team. The person like, really liked it, my energy and the way I was working. Then he got an opportunity and he called me that, oh, bro, you are looking for an email marketer to be in this place. You do. I was like, oh, bring me on. And that's how it works. Majority of the jobs in the digital space, they don't get advertised. Everybody will ask, do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? And then if you are not the type that deliver high quality work, nobody will recommend you. Because recommendation is like the person is putting their own reputation on the line for you. They are betting that, oh, I know somebody that can do this work. And then when you get there and you didn't do the work, what happens? The person has lost their reputation. So always deliver high quality work, regardless of anything. You know, your, your salary is small, the, your, your boss is tyrannical, whatever is happening, deliver high quality work. It is for yourself, it is not for the company. Like I said again, I work for a company for eight months for free without pay, and I was, still I was still delivering high quality work. So the next thing is strive for excellence in every job to build a strong portfolio. You have to have a portfolio. Everybody has to have a portfolio. A portfolio is just a, a kind of catalog of all of your results. If you're doing social media management, you should be able to, to show that, oh, when I got into this job, I, I then love data. Please, always record. I hired into a brand. Record it. What is the what is the, um, their current level? Whatever it is, if it is sales that you are doing, record in their level of sale. Record their level of uh, their, their number of followers. If it's social media, record how, how their graphics. Record everything so that when you start making your changes, when you start implementing your changes, and then you start seeing the growth, you'll be able to show it in the next six months or your portfolio. That's okay. I met also brand here, and I, I took them to this place. I met them here. I took them to that place, and then it will show on your portfolio so strive for excellence always and then the next thing is show up every day be reliable the meeting is 9 a.m be there there's rain there. see don't give excuse just there are 1001 excuse of me not being here today i can tell you that there's no light yes which will be right now in nigeria i can tell you my generator is 40 i can tell you a lot of things i can tell you my internet is bad in this space now i can show you my internet i have blue i have empty i have empty. why I want to show up every day. If glow is acting mad, I will switch to MT. If MT is mad, I will switch to MT. That's how I behave. I show up every day. Consistency is key to build a successful career. You want to be reliable. If they send you graphic, if you're a graphic designer, somebody send you a job and say, oh, you deliver by 12. Deliver by 12. See, you can say, you deliver by 12. There's no like, go and look for ways to deliver by 12. After you deliver by 12, start telling the person that, ah, the thing you took me to deliver this thing by 12, man. I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this and that. So, but deliver by 12. It is after you have delivered by 12 that you can start telling them the whole complaints and everything you have to do to get the job done. And they will appreciate you more for it. They will appreciate you more for it. Yes. But you have delivered. So, show up every day. Then the next thing is leverage social media. You are learning something, and then everybody around you don't know. Don't build in silence, no. Build publicly. Me, if you ask anybody around me, they will tell you my work. Advertising and digital marketing. They will tell you straight up why. I'm all. That's why I use my WhatsApp to do. That's why I use my link, my Twitter, my LinkedIn. That is what I use it to do. I'm not using it to add you the video and whiskey it, talking about token marketing wow, or whatever. That's not my thing. I don't. Uh, those people are successful already. You, poor people discuss rich people. Rich people don't discuss people, right? So leverage social media. Use social media to your own advantage. You are, oh, you learn something in, in digital marketing. You are taking a course about writing, and then you learn something. You go online and say, oh, today I learned this, I learned this, I learned that. Tomorrow I did this, I did that. You are doing data analysis. You just did a project. It's not good. It, it, it doesn't have to be smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just document your journey on your social media. Why? When you apply for jobs, the first thing they want to go and check is social, social media. Yes. You say you're a digital marketer. Then I go to your, 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 your Twitter. I search digital marketing. I search marketing. I search ad. I search searching those keywords. And then nothing is popping up. All I'm seeing is David Do, this key, uh, this thing happened, uh, that Bibi Ninja. I'm seeing all those kind of, that's the thing you are using. I go to your LinkedIn. I'm seeing this. You don't even have a LinkedIn account. And you want to get a job, you're not serious. So leverage social media. 
Then the, the popular site to get job up 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 Fiverr. Yes, you can use those uh, those sites to get jobs online. I don't use them though because I always use LinkedIn to get my jobs. But you can use those uh, websites to get jobs. Then seventy percent of professional work remotely. Yes, I'm working remotely. I work for about two three companies. Yes, and I'm working remotely. I work for brands in London. In fact, I consult for companies. And yeah, yeah, some people have never seen. I've never seen majority of my bosses. I've not seen them before because they are in London. So, how? How? Because you are working remotely. But when you are working remotely, you want to make sure that you, are, you, make, you deliver your work. You don't just, you don't, you don't want to be known as somebody that deliver excuses. People that deliver excuses don't, they, they don't grow. Deliver your work, deliver your deliverables. Don't deliver excuses to people. Okay, there are one thousand and one excuse to always throw at people. See, you can there are many things you can manufacture, not to do. Yes, there are valid reasons. Okay, I'm not saying they're not valid. There's no lights in Nigeria, there's no internet. They are valid. But look, there are people that are still doing it, they are still delivering the work, despite the fact that these things are happening in Nigeria. Then network, network. You are already networking, you are in a group of people, but always network, network. Get mentors online. You see somebody, you, you go on LinkedIn, search your industry, graphic design, e-commerce, whatever it is, customer service. Go search, search it on Twitter, search it on LinkedIn. Look for people that are in their industry. Start following them. Start commenting on their posts. That's how you network. Start commenting on their posts. Start reading their posts. Start commenting. Start commenting. Before you know, they'll follow you back. And once they follow you back, you DM them. Ah, sir, thank you. This and this. I want you to mentor me. Don't just go and mentor uh, message a stranger and say you want to mentorship. It's not possible. It's not done that way. So you do it gradually, right? You follow them. You comment on their posts. You comment on their posts. You comment on their posts. Majority of my recommendation came from my mentor. I don't know these people. I just message them online. See, you social media is powerful. It's very powerful. You have to use it uh, to your own advantage. You have to be very, very tactic. You, 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 you get me right? Be strategic about it. And then network, network, meet people. Like, like I said, recommendation is key in the industry. You don't just be, uh, uh, you got a job and, uh, and you're you are in a meeting. Don't just, oh, yeah, do your job and go. Mm -mm. Network with people, talk to your colleagues, ask them about their wife, ask them about their brother, ask them about their life, ask, talk to them. What, what books are you reading? Can I read it with you? Just about those things, just about football. You make friends so that they will be able to recommend you. And the next thing is continuous learning. It doesn't stop. It doesn't, it's not like, oh, I've learned this thing. I don't have learned. You want to go. Continuous learning. Then, just to recap everything I've said today, be valuable, number one. You want to have a skill, be valuable. 10,000 hours rule, practice consistently, deliver quality work, promote yourself using social media, and I bet you, you will have a successful career in the digital space. Thank you for your time and attention.